one question I get a lot on Instagram and on YouTube is when setting up my pure water factory, when setting up my bottled water factory, what size of land, how many plots of land do I need to set up my own factory? Now, this question is very tricky because I can't give you a direct answer. When setting up your own factory, it is up to you to decide because one important thing again is when setting up a factory, don't go into this project alone. You should seek counsel and advice, even though it's from family or people who are experienced in the business. You should look for someone who has at least some expertise and knowledge to share with you. You know, it will determine the kind of land. Because now I can tell you for 200 square meters, meanwhile, maybe you are trying to set up a factory that will produce um, pure water, bottled water, dispenser, and so on. Sometimes my, you, you might want to produce um, pure water with 10 pure water machines. You might even want up to 20 pure water machines, depending on you. So I can't tell you specifically, like this is the amount of land, this is the plot of land that you need. That's why in most videos that I've done previously, I've listed out some of the things that are required in a factory. So once you know these things that require the spaces that you need to create in the factory, it will help you, you know, plan and arrange, you know, set how you want your factory to be designed. And make sure when you are designing this factory, when you are setting up your factory, you know, creating space for everything, make sure you are following the guidelines of NAPDAC. Because there are some rules that they have when it comes to designing the factory. That is why it is also important to that at each stage of the project that I've gotten into, that's each stage you've gotten to, you should have at least someone with expertise or someone coming from the NAVDAC office or someone who has gone through this project before. You need someone to look at what you've done and advise and suggest where you need to make some adjustments. So what I'll be doing in this video is to share um, the factory space which we've used in Samsei factory. So I'll be sharing with you a land located in Gora Nostrawa State where we began our industrial factory. So this factory was able to contain um, the three in one monoblock machine, um, two pure water machines, the entire water treatment setup and the semi-treated tank and treatment tanks. Also in this factory was the blowing room. We had a separate room for it. We also had the administrative room. We also had the raw materials room and the finished product room. We had several finished product rooms because we had one outside the factory. We also had one like inside the factory. So you will need to think of all these places, all this space. You need to make arrangements for them when setting up your own factory. Also behind the factory, we had space for our generator. So you also need to consider that too when setting up your own factory. Depending on the size of generator you are buying, well, definitely it's going to be a big generator. So you need to create room for it. You need to set the generator where it won't have, um, it will be easy to watch, maintain, and observe. So we also have a portable factory. So I'll be sharing with you videos of both this industrial factory, which I feel is the standard size for a factory. Now, if you want to expand on it, you can, you know, watch this video, like visually, um, should I say, map out the areas that you would like to expand, then maybe you can use it for a project. So I'll be sharing with you a video from this um, industrial factory and the portable factory. Now, the one we have gone by 